What's good y'all? It's your girl Electries and I'm back with another video. Today we are going to be recording this Amazon wig install on a mobile salon bus. Yes child, not a regular salon, not in the bathroom. We on a mobile salon bus with everything that I need. I want to go ahead and give a special shout out and thank you to Mr. Hair Art for partnering with me so that I can make this video happen for you all just so that y'all can be able to see what it's like to be on a mobile salon. But me personally, after being on this bus y'all, I don't think I ever go back to a salon. Just me personally now for those who are subscribed to me y'all know i am a licensed hairstylist so i've pretty much worked everywhere i worked started at home i worked in the kitchen all the way into a school and then i went ahead and worked in the salons i've had my own suites before you know i've tried different things and i've been in different working areas but by far is the most comfortable for me because let's just be honest, that walkthrough when you have to go through the salon and your hair not done yet and you, you do that little walk of shame. Mm -mm. But here when I'm on a mobile salon, it's kind of like, oh, I ain't got to worry about nobody. It's just me and my client. We got that real connection going. We can talk about the tea. We can get into everything that we want to talk about without the stress or the worry of other people listening. You know, it's a very private just exclusive just luxury kind of feel like i don't know how to explain it just being on your own mobile salon but child it's different you, ain't got one. you, you might want to start investing i know a lot of people they're still trying to get into oh i want to own my own salon you know blah 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 but if you're more like me and you want to gain more celebrity clientele where they look for that privacy mobile salon bus and luckily for y'all because i partnered with mr hair arts you will be able to get all the information for being able to purchase a bus or just being able to get into one you know they have different programs where they work with you for financing they have their own financing thing that you can do if you want to try it out see what it's like all kinds of things and then on top of that even if you were not a hairstylist yourself but you see the vision you are also able to be an investor to be able to invest in the company and be a part of the movement that's going on. Because I'm telling y'all right now, them salons, they're going to be out of business by the time these mobile salons get up and running. Once it goes global, baby, I'm telling you, if you want to invest, you want to be a part of it, you want to hop on before it gets a little too popular and then the price go up, start now. But that's enough of me rambling about how much I love this mobile salon. I'm going to give y'all a tour too once I finish, you know, the rest of the video. All right, y'all. So let's get into this wig and stuff. So we got this Amazon wig. Y'all, this wig was like $75, something like that on Amazon. And I decided because y'all know I used to sell wigs. And I'm probably going to get back into it just because I've seen what's on the market lately. And y'all need lay luxuries i'm telling you but i wanted to go ahead and see what i could do with a cheap amazon wig and then kind of show y'all how to finesse it because i understand sometimes times get rough you need to go out you need to do your thing and this is just what you gotta do now went ahead and ordered this wig um does it say the name it does not say the name of the brand for the wig but it came in this pink bag Here's the wig. It's a 24 inch body wave 13 by 6 frontal wig. And so I'm guessing this is the 6. I Me mean, personally, I like when the 6 is across the full 13, but you know, it is what it is. So if you wanted to do like a deep side part, I don't think you'll be able to do that with this wig. But I mean, they still give you a pretty good amount of space in the middle to be able to do. A decent side part you know you can still get some stuff done and it comes with these little combs over here on the sides and down here at the bottom so that you're able to secure your wig a little wet because i attempted to bleach the knots and i say attempted not because i messed up but because child the knots are small which is cool but i went in with the bw2 and 30 volume developer this definitely needs 40 because i'm just show y'all y'all see the knots are still pretty much visible but you see that little brassiness to it didn't take very well 
Um, so I would definitely recommend if you were to get this wig, you would definitely have to go in twice with the bleach. And this was claimed to be pre-plugged, but me personally, I need a lot more plucking done to this. With the wig, they also sent you a ball cap, but this ball cap for me is a little a little dark for my liking because i am very light skinned so i like my wig caps to be beige so i didn't even know that they sent the wig cap with this so i went ahead and got my own wig cap which is a lot lighter than well not a lot lighter but it is lighter than that one just so that when i put my makeup over it it actually matches me rather than getting too dark because we already got dark knots so it's got we got to make it do what it do so the first thing that i'm gonna do is deal with my head y'all i recently cut my hair so i don't even need to do a full braid down honestly i don't even know how long i'm gonna have this hair in child so we just gonna go ahead and slick this hair back put it in a little something and make it flat enough to where it's out the way now, put this wig cap on and I'm gonna slick my hair back. So, I'm just gonna stretch my wig cap out. They've been making them too small nowadays. My head be. <laughs> uh, now that I look crazy, I be a little cute ball hit it. <laughs> you know? But right, we ain't gonna go there. Because I've been ball hit and I wasn't cute. <laughs> Cut these ear holes out. Hold on. I used to do like the spray and then cut it from there, but I personally prefer to do the glue. This lace glue I've had for a very long time. <laughs> I'm talking years. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's still good. But basically you just want, you just want to outline Where your edges is, but you don't want to put it on your edges. You'll be alright if you do. You just got to use something oil based. It ain't got to be too thick, but it need to be thick enough to where when you cut it, it ain't going to push back. I went ahead and plucked off camera. So it's looking a little better. I didn't want to pluck too much because. It is very easy to turn these things bald. You can always plug more once you put it on. But that's what we looking like. Trust me, it was a lot. I could go a lot further, but baby, I don't feel like it. So right now, we're going to go ahead and cut this now that it's completely dry. The crazy part is this glue is literally from like years ago and this is the uh what's that girl i'ma slay your bae it's her gummy glue and this junk is like still working like really really good and i'm just gonna start my flat iron even though i don't need to because this flat iron works so well this is uh my Leia luxury flat iron as you can see like, can y'all see it? It said Leia Luxury's on the inside. <laughs> I got my own flat iron. And I'm just going to turn this all the way up because I need it to be flat, flat. I got a hot comb too. I'm debating on if I'm going to go grab it because I don't feel like it. But this iron gets up to 480 and it heats up really fast. So, like, we just cut it on. It's already at 14, 420, about 30. Like, I just cut this on. Y'all just see me cut it on. And now, it's at 480. And it is hot. <laughs> it is completely ready. So, yeah, I love that flat iron so much. I need to sell it. I really need to put that in stock. Like, I know y'all would enjoy it because I hate waiting on the flat iron to heat up. And that one, perfect. And it's cute. 
Where is my thing? All right, so I'm gonna take this uh Ruby Kiss. Uh, what's this shade? RDF 12. And I mix between these two, this lighter and this darker one, because I don't ever know which one I am. And it, I really just, you know. So I just mix those and then blend out that. And if y'all want makeup tutorial, I actually just did a makeup tutorial. Well, not a tutorial, but I did, like you could see me doing my makeup in my last video. But if y'all want an in-depth one on this look or a different look, let me know. I got a fall makeup look coming up. Y'all gonna wanna watch that. Now that all this makeup is on and we look bald hit it. Oh, I look bald for real. It's giving Amber Rose. Okay. I'm gonna take some alcohol and just clean up the edge. I'm gonna do one good layer of glue. I'm not gonna do two of them because like I said, I don't know how long I'm gonna keep this in. Take the edge of this uh, eyebrow razor because it's flat. I'm just gonna my layer and when i'm doing it i'm not going up because i don't want to lift that ball cap i kind of want the rest of that to melt so just drag it on the side drag it down but the key is to get it as even as possible so the glue dries even but now we just wait for this to dry completely clear and then we're going to apply the wig and style it all right y'all so the glue is now dry as you can see so we're gonna go ahead and put this wig on get this band on because i don't want it to dry down too too much and then it not stick and if you hear that noise in the background uh that's just the heat it's a little cold outside and i ain't had a girl so just cut the heat on make sure we ain't too cold make sure y'all put makeup on this lace it's like I said, they said transparent. I mean, they said HD. It's very much just transparent. But, you know. I don't mind them lying. I don't care. It was $75, so why would I care? You know? Little lie never hurt. Do what you gotta do to get the sale. But, yeah. And I'm using the darker one only on this part because of how bright this lace is. So, if you go a little bit darker on the shade whenever you're using your makeup rather than lighter or the same skin tone then it's going to blend a lot better your ball cap go with the same skin tone as like your skin but your lace if it's transparent and it's not hd hd like real hd lace where it's like frilled on the ends of the lace you do the exact same color but transparent go a little darker not too dark but just a little darker You don't want to stretch it too much because you don't want it to be like wrinkled. I'm going to take my comb just to press this in a lot more and really make sure it's melted in there as much as possible. I am not going to lie. I'm so impressed with Amazon right now. Like, <laughs> baby, what can't y'all do? Now, as far as the quality of, like, the hair, I can tell, like, it ain't gonna last too long. Just because you can see, like, how, I don't know if you can see, but it's like the little flyaways or whatever. Where you can see the hair is breaking easily. It's okay, though. Like I said, $75. You need to go to the club. You it's, it's, got a little something going on. Not your birthday, though. Like, it's, it's save up for the birthday, but... You know, you just need to make it do what it do for whatever you trying to do. A little party or whatever. That's fine. I'm so excited, y'all. I ain't wore a wig in so long. And then this is just so y'all can see up close how it looks. Before I cut any lace or anything, child. This is how it's looking. The wig fits so perfectly on my head. I don't feel like my head little... I don't feel like it's too, too big. It got a little extra size on it, but, you know, it's pretty decent size. 
I normally don't have issues with making the weed fit on my head. Unless they just send me a small weed. That just makes me mad. But yeah. So, just gonna tie this tight in the mug and leave that. Leave that band on. Let that, let it melt. That's why you put your wig on first and then you do your makeup. See it, let it melt, do what it gotta do. Make sure it's on top of where you want your lace to melt. And it's on top of all the glue. So however thick your glue is, that's how thick your band needs to be. So that it really seeps in there, you know? So bring that down on my ears so that it can get those sides. I part really might eat. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a full grown minute. I really can't wait to re bleach this wig because, jeez. What y'all think? Bust down or side. Because now that I put this wig on, it's not all the way down to my butt the way I like my bust downs. So, and I don't like short bust downs. That don't give. That's not my thing. You know? Let's see what my flat iron hidden for with live and in action. Uh oh. I'm not thing sliding. I'm back up there. We ain't done. Oh. Mm -mm. We are not done melting, honey. You got to, you got a ways to go. Oh, all right, y'all. We almost done. I promise. Whew. Okay. Let me see, cause I'm finna just pass my iron through it and see what it's doing. smell of it and I ain't bring my heat protecting. Ooh. I don't know about that y'all. It smell like, you know, a cheap herby smell. It don't smell like when you get quality hair it be smelling like conditioner and stuff. This one does not give conditioner. Okay, so we're gonna do straight because I'm not finna um I'm not gonna play with the curls not coming out right because I know that's exactly how this gonna have to go down. So let's start parting and getting it done. I'm gonna process the hell out of this hair. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I wouldn't. It's shedding too. Mm. Like I said, seventy-five dollars. You get what you pay for. I wouldn't lie to you. You gonna get what you pay for. I'm trying to take big sections, so I ain't gotta waste my time. this is gonna get worn it's straight I had a feeling it was gonna be like that though you can't really do too much with them cheap wigs when it comes to styling and stuff maybe like crimps cause you can use a lot of spritz but like a voluptuous curl like girl like nah I have to upgrade your pockets or something Like, I ain't trying to talk down on it. I'm trying to give y'all my honest review, but I just, I know quality wigs, that's all. And this is just not of that level. You feel me? 
but it's damn sure good enough, like, to get you through the night, get you through a couple nights. I could really turn the heat down, but I don't want to. Just in case y'all get to, you know what I'm saying? Stay in y'all opinion. Why it's so hot? Yeah, it's hot because I'm burning the shit out this hair. Uh, it's going to get bone straight. I promise you that. I don't need it to be any type of fluff. I need it straight. And I'm taking huge sections so it ain't even that bad, you know? Alright, y'all. So I went ahead and I flat ironed it. And this is the thinnest hair I have ever seen. <laughs> like... It is so thin that if y'all was to go out with my little braid like how I did, no ma'am. No go. And then this side part, I don't know. I got to see what it's giving once I take this band off. Which, we taking it off right now. It just was tight. Whew. Okay. So, that's how it's looking. If you take small snips then you can easily just use, you know, this instead. Small jagged snips. I ain't got time. I just wanna get this done. I'm so heated about these knots, y'all. Like, I do not play about that, but. Dang! Y'all let me be. Alright, so that's what it's looking like. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. So next time, if I ever wear this again, <laughs> I am going to re-bleach, re-pluck, and just get it more natural looking. I'll probably leave that bleach on for like 30 minutes, child, because... I'm not going to do edges up here. I'm just going to do the edges on the side. And I'm going to make it like the swoop type. You know. Considering I ain't going nowhere. I would tie it down and do all that. But I ain't even do all that. Because like I said. It ain't going nowhere. Literally going to hop on Instagram. And then hop off. <laughs> Good enough child. Now we're going to fix these knots real quick. And I'm just going to take. A little concealer and I'm going to go in and just try to blend it as much as possible it's honestly not that bad but you know and I'm going in with the lighter color this time make sure y'all can see if I had to rate this wig I would give it, I don't know, because it really just lost so many points off the strength of it being thin and just shitting like that made it lose so many points. Because the lace is not that bad and the knots, you can, you can deal with it, you know, but, okay, so we done, this is the final look. Y'all, this is actually pretty cute from afar. Um, up close, you would definitely be able to see it, but I've seen girls with a lot worse. And I mean a lot worse. Like, this is not bad at all. So if you just need to get something done and you know how to finesse a little bit, you can honestly make this work. Like, I could almost go to the club. Almost. Not yet, though. Like, <laughs> like I said, I got a little reputation. I ain't trying to go looking any kind of way. But, yeah. This is the final look. The hair looks decent. It's pretty decent, y'all. It is pretty decent. But $75, this is amazing. Honestly. So, I can't complain for the amount that I paid for it. This is a really good buy if you just need something. And you gotta need it, baby. Because y'all gotta remember, wigs, lashes, all this stuff, it's a luxury item. So you wanna be able to spend 
comfortably whenever you're purchasing this because it's honestly an investment my wigs last me years not months years and i can color it dye it recolor it re-dye re-bleach it over and over and over again and it's still going to look amazing literally just because of the quality of hair you gotta think about your own hair if i color and dye and recolor and bleach and dye and recolor my hair is going to be fine it's going to have a little damage but it's going to still be intact versus hair like this that's a little bit cheaper you can't bleach this and dye it a bunch of times like you're gonna get maybe one two times after that the hair is just gonna not be the same so that's why it's super important to invest in quality hair but i'll get more into that whenever i got something for y'all to shop with because right now i don't have an alternative for y'all so once i get that best believe i expect y'all to shop okay i want y'all to shop with me because i wouldn't lead you wrong and obviously I give honest reviews so if y'all want me to try something else or you have another recommendation y'all want me to do or a different style you know all I gotta do is comment down below but this I don't know how it's looking up close but I can tell from my little camera right here we doing a little something it's doing enough so y'all take it in and if y'all want to shop I can shop oh let me turn this around. oh yeah oh look at that iron automatically cut off because lay of luxuries promote safety i know that's right i really need to sell those <laughs> oh y'all see what i mean by like you could make it do what it do like from before we good but you know so i'm about to give y'all the tour of the mobile salon bus now that we done went ahead and finished up so i'm coming to the front of the bus and so we have the doors right here you know and then this is like the front of the bus or whatever here's a security camera because child y'all know how they be doing in them salons they be running off on you ain't no telling but we got cameras in here for security measures and then we have our first tv right here there's a bunch of tvs and then Here's a little nail station. So this is just to show you how diverse the mobile salon is. You can literally transform it however you want. This one was a little bit more based on a barber shop and geared more towards that. And then just went ahead and added the nail station so that you can see the diversity in it. But for like me personally, when I get my bus, because baby, I'm getting one. And you should too. When I get mine, it's going to be so modern girly like y'all gonna see it and it's gonna be amazing because you can actually customize these buses too so it's not like something that you just pick out of the catalog as far as like something i already set you can customize everything from flooring to the lighting to you know your station every single thing can be customized exactly how you want it so here's a little desk area where you got your two seats right here and then um on this side there's another seating area so this will be this seating area right here is like the bench for if you have multiple clients and let's say you got them waiting let's say you're not doing something that's so private as far as you know whatever because like i said this is perfect for celebrity clients they can come in chill security sit right there they in your chair, y'all vibe, kick it, and that way they don't have to feel like they, you know what I'm saying, got people in their face, or and you don't have to be at their home, because I'm pretty sure that's uncomfortable for celebrities to have people in their home like that, but to each his home. So, you got your seat right here. That's my junk. And then, those are little cubbies just to, for, like, storage or whatever. Oh, this is also storage. You can open this up. Everything has little locks on it. If y'all can see that, it got little locks on it so that whenever you rolling, your stuff is not falling everywhere. Then here's a little mirror. This is mobile on. They got the TV up, game system. Like I said, it's more like a barbershop type vibe. Here go another TV. So we got one, two, three TVs and a security screen. So if one person want to watch a movie, another person want to play the game, another person want to play a different game, you do whatever you want to do. 
And then, here come my favorite part because I'm greedy. We got a snack area. And then we have more storage, a microwave, and a mini fridge, child. Y'all see that? Mini fridge. It got all kinds of stuff. Wine, coffee, juice, whatever you need. So let's say you got your kids in here and get them a little juice box microwave you want to heat up your food you know all that type of stuff this ring light was just here because of course we was just recording and then this is a wheelchair access area so that if you are disabled you're still able to come on here because it is stairs in the front and then we have our station we got the rest of the station huge mirror another mirror this is kind of like this right here would be like your photo wall or whatever where you would go ahead and take pictures but yeah and then there's lighting all across the top of here this was the lighting that they chose so yeah this bus literally has everything that you would need as far as making this feel very salon like but also very personal and then like i said the coolest part about it all is you can customize every single part even the outside of the bus you can have your custom logos going outside i know there's a program that they're coming out with where you can do advertising and you can get paid to do advertising say you run a nike commercials inside of your mobile salon you can get paid for that so there's so many different ways to make money inside of this mobile salon they're even coming out with an app so that you know which spots to hit up so let's say you have some sort of event going on or there's an event going on in your city where they're allowing you to be able to park your bus out and you'll be able to take clients like walk in walk on clients and you'll be able to make some money for that day there's so many different ways that you could really maximize your income using this mobile salon even if you was to get it let's say you're not using it you can always do how they be renting out their little booths and renting out their suites you can rent out your mobile salon to someone else so that they're able to you know what i'm saying work on it as well and when it comes to driving the bus you will also go through a mobile salon schooling program that is also offered with them so that you are completely comfortable with rolling around here and honestly i'm five two i'm a little bitty lady and i've driven one of these buses before and it is not hard so it can sound intimidating you can always get a driver me personally i would get a driver i'm gonna have somebody driving me around because you know but um yeah you can do all those different things it's just a really really great business opportunity it's something to think about because like i said these salons these brick and mortars like y'all y'all gonna see especially for my people who are wanting to do the celebrity clientele having things like this in place investing in yourself in this level is going to really help your business out and i know this is not a part of the amazon wig review but this is me more so speaking to my girls and guys whoever is watching if you are an investor type of person and you want to invest in something that you know is going to make money this is a great investment or if you're looking to start your own business and you don't want to have to deal with you know leasing and all this other stuff you want to still feel like you got your own full freedom to run your salon how you want to without so much commitment to a building this is for you like there is so many even if you want to work like i said they have financing programs and you want to work to earn your bus like all of those different ways to make money it's 100 accessible to you all i gotta do is click the links down below whichever one suits you you click that link and get more information there or you can reach out you know whatever you gotta do thank y'all so 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 much for watching i am glad we got this video done on here because the light in here is so bomb it just looks so good in here i really just can't wait till i get mine but yeah Y'all can expect to see a lot more hair videos on this bus because, honey, the it just don't get no better than this. It just don't. Like, the bathroom does not hit the same. Once you come in here, mm, 
yeah so thank you all so much for watching i hope y'all enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment subscribe don't forget to show your friends your family members and anybody you know whether they're interested in this mobile salon or they're interested in how good i look in this wig either way go go ahead and share like comment subscribe and i will see you all in my next video